In a historic night for the Detroit Lions, quarterback Jared Goff delivered an unprecedented performance, completing all 18 of his passes in a thrilling 42-29 victory over the Seattle Seahawks. This remarkable achievement not only marked the first time the Lions defeated Seattle since 2012 but also etched Goff's name in the NFL record books however, as head coach Dan Campbell reflected on the moment, he felt a pang of remorse for not acknowledging Goff's milestone properly. After the game, Campbell awarded game balls to wide receiver Jameson Williams and safety Kirby Joseph, unaware that Goff had just completed a perfect game. I just gave the game ball to somebody else, so I feel awful, Campbell admitted. I knew he played a heck of a game. I did not realize he was perfect. I did not know he was literally 18 for 18, but I knew he played really well. Before Goff's record-setting night, the previous record for passes without an incompletion was held by Kurt Warner, who went 10-4-10 during a game for the Arizona Cardinals in 2005. Goff's achievement was unprecedented, he couldn't recall a time in his extensive football career when he finished a game with a perfect passing record. Never. I don't think I've ever done it, he said, acknowledging that he was aware of his performance in the middle of the game. I was kind of aware of it today, but then I threw the one out of bounds that ended up being offensive pass interference, and I was like, does that count? To add to the significance of the night, Goff caught the first receiving touchdown of his career on a short pass from a Monterey St. Brown during the third quarter, a feat he hadn't accomplished since starting to play football at the age of seven. This unique play helped the Lions become the first team since at least 1933 to achieve a 100% completion percentage in a game with multiple players throwing a pass, according to ESPN research Goff and St. Brown executed the play, dubbed Alcatraz by offensive coordinator Ben Johnson, flawlessly. St. Brown remarked on the simplicity of the route, saying, for that route, I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Goff's performance benefited from a solid offensive line, even with Pro Bowl center Frank Ragnow sidelined due to injury. Veteran lineman Graham Blasco stepped in at center, allowing Goff to maintain a clean pocket and complete 14 of 14 passes for 270 yards and two touchdowns. The Lions' offense was dynamic, with Goff showcasing his ability to connect with receivers open by significant margins. Among his completions was a spectacular 70-yard touchdown to Williams, extending the Lions' lead to 35-20 late in the third quarter. Running back Jomer Gibbs also had a strong performance, rushing for 78 yards and two touchdowns, and expressed his surprise at Goff's perfect outing, saying, I haven't seen the ball hit the ground yet. As the Lions celebrated their victory, Goff found humor in Campbell's oversight regarding the game balls. With a smile, he remarked, that's okay. We'll see, maybe he'll make it up, but that's okay. I'm just happy we got the win. With this triumph, the Lions improved to 3-1, heading into their bye week with renewed confidence.